but uh, I did 50 miles a day this past, last February uh, for 22 days. And you go, oh, Florida, it's easy, it's flat. Do every around every corner is is adventure. The amount of bald eagles that I saw, like the largest concent, the highest concentration of nesting bald eagles in America, Central Florida. Like people have no idea. I mean, it's like just seeing all these rare birds. I mean you know, tens of thousands of birds. Uh, I, I got to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, another bald eagle. Like, you know, you're kind of like unimpressed, um, which is, I mean, insane to even think that, you know, cause like we, I, living in Atlanta, I, I don't see bald eagles, you know, like, uh, you know, if we see a hawk, it's like, oh my God, what does it mean? Um, so that trail is amazing. And uh, there's just so many, I mean, from high prairies, um, dry prairies to wet prairies to savannas to um you know cypress swamp held the first 30 miles 20 of it you're walking in shin deep to knee deep water in a swamp yeah i was about I to mean, ask you about that because i heard i heard i heard from somebody that you're literally walking in water for like several mi miles of like a section of it hell yeah and there's like you know even though colder times of the year, you don't really have to worry about it, but you do always, it's always in the back of your mind. It's like venomous snakes, alligators, uh, the Florida Panther, you know, uh, cougars, mountain lions, all the same thing. Um, they're rehabilitating those in South Florida along the trail bears. There's like a, a mass. It's like one of the highest concentration of bears anywhere on the East coast that is actually in, in Florida, Florida. Um, wait, the, you said Florida has bears. Oh yeah, Ocala National Forest. Yeah, yeah, tons of bears. What? I did not know that. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, they actually made it. Uh, I don't know how long ago, uh, but they made it illegal to hunt them to let the population get back. Now it's like fucking skyrocketed. They're like, Dude. you know, dogs. They're freaking everywhere. And you were just <laughs> running through there. Oh yeah, man. Like, and, and especially like during the middle of the night. You know, in a lot of these sections, like I would go. Like this is the I'm writing a book on this whole thing. By the way. Okay. Um, which, you know, I'm not trying to like, Hey man, buy my book and I want to get rich. It's just like <laughs> the whole thing I did every day. I was on social media constantly while I was on the trail, which cost me a lot of time and energy, but I wanted to share the experience with people and just be like, dude, I'm, I'm literally no one. I'm just some dude that occasionally runs. Like if I can come out here and do 50 miles a day for 22 days, fuck, you can do anything. And it was hands down the hardest experience of my life. And uh, yeah, you'd be, I'd be walking around, you know, three, four in the morning when I would start and you'd hear shit crashing through the woods and you're like, sounds like a bear big enough to be a bear. Could be a deer. Fuck. I don't know. You know? And it's just like, can't see whatever it was. Could be a skunk. Ape. I can't I wait know. to read this book.